Hey guys, here's a bit of a tip when you're doing uh, interior details or even just on your own vehicle. If you've noticed you've got a big gaping hole, uh, 9 times out of 10, the fabric is actually not ripped all the way away. It actually gets tucked up underneath. You can see I've started stitching it back here. Um, it's not really ideal. I'm not a seamstress. But I will tell you that uh, it looks... A thousand times better than a big gaping hole that uh, nobody wants to look at. So um, I'm going to finish stitching this up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, there was also a big gaping hole here. This one is kind of awful because it was in such a weird spot. And it actually was pretty torn because there, there's hard plastic in there. So it was really hard for me to pull it tight. But uh, it actually worked out good. I wish I had gray thread that had only black but it's good enough for now at least gets me by so i'll get back at you when i get this uh pulled tight Alrighty, that looks a heck of a lot better than some gaping holes or duct tape as they had covering it <laughs> i really wish i had gray thread but i will do that at a later date um all this stuff here that's actually just glue residue i'll have to use some uh Probably use brake clean because brake clean actually works pretty good. I mean, even just rubbing it takes some of it off, but uh, that definitely looks better than a couple large gaping holes. I just really wish I had uh, gray thread, but I mainly just didn't want this to get any worse right now before I did a shampoo. So, yeah, thought you might like that quick tip there.